So you mean you want to use this material thing to blind my eyes from the truth that you want to reveal to me through God's word? Is that the plan? Don't you like it? How can I ever, ever, ever like it? How can I like it? How on earth can I like it? Like it the ways of this world are both the ways of the kingdom of God that you once led me into. My husband. Something is wrong. Our prayer altar is going cold. Okay? The spirit of God is departing from this home. We are fast living the way of God. The way of holiness, the way of truth. My husband. Where is the love? We want have for God. My husband. There is no problem for us to have a trip. Yes, there is no problem. But when it becomes excessive, that becomes a problem. You don't like the chocolate? I love it. <sighs> How can your taste buds become so cold that it's enjoying the taste of chocolate when it does not enjoy the word of God for the past one week in this house? you. I celebrate the grace of God over your life. Indeed, you are a son of God. How can I thank you enough for bringing me to Christ 15 years ago? That's the best thing that has happened to me. When you preached the words of eternal life, the Holy Spirit pricked my heart and I surrendered all at the foot of the cross. Oh, what a glorious day. My husband, being married to you for this past Keep seven the ball. years, seven years has been such pure bliss. Huh? I thank you so much for the scriptures. I thank you for always leading us to meditate the scriptures in this yeah, home. Good, for prayers, you're always laying your hands and praying over me. I thank you so much for always encouraging me to walk in the way of the Lord. Mm. You will surely not miss your reward from heaven in Jesus name. Amen. Do you know that I have a testimony? You remember? <laughs> you remember three days ago I was complaining that ah, my back, my waist, my this, my dad. Guess what happened? My husband, when you laid your hands and prayed for me decreeing that Jesus Christ should take away the root cause of the problem and grant me complete healing. Guess what happened? I woke up the very next day and I felt no pain. All the swelling went down immediately as 
as you are declared in the name of Jesus. I was amazed. I said, well, maybe it's just my mind. Let me give it another day. Yesterday, I observed it and the swelling was completely gone. The pain vanished away. I'm so praise grateful to God. you, my husband. I praise the Lord over your life. This is to encourage you that the hand of God is over your life. Don't stop. Don't stop visiting the presence of God, resting in the presence of God. And don't stop the power of God, the glory of God, oh, the light of God. It remember, we have to, to you. the vacation, we have to go for vacation soon. No, no, we just came back from vacation three days ago. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry about it. <sighs> My husband, mm -hmm. anyways, your food is ready, huh? I made your favorite. <laughs> Right. It's already served. It's okay, I'll come. Huh? Daddy, when did you start allowing me to wait for you? You know we're always eating uh, together. I know, you know. Uh, we'll also go out. Maybe next week. I'll see. Out I enjoy what? eating out sometimes. Eating in the house, eating out, eating in the house. No! No, Daddy, you've always told me that you enjoy my food so much. Since when did you start liking food outside? See, my, my food the is dead with the flavor of the Holy Ghost. The it's the so best. Why should we not eat home, eat out, eat home, eat out? It's okay. Ah, sweetheart. Ha. Hmm. Don't food out there can compare to mine, you know. You better stop any craving for any outside food because the one from home is the best, all right? Yes. Oh, let's go and eat now. It's okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. No, you baby. Better. It's okay, it's okay. Let me just finish this, please. Thank you. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's okay, thank you, thank you. Trip actually, but the one in two months time in Mexico. You know, when you book it ahead of time, it's economical. Sweetheart, sweetheart, don't you think it would have been much better to first of all talk with God before trying to relate to the affairs of this world? And um, the one, the next one is gonna be a road trip. I need us to experience a road trip to LA. Mm -mm. That's in Los Angeles, right? Mm -mm -mm -mm. But it's okay. Uh, the one. Look, I know the one from Mexico is in two months time, but in fall, because you know I like doing it after two months, every after two months, so it's gonna be, have we been in Hawaii? My husband! We try that one too. No, we should be trying, continuing our journey to heaven. No, we should be following the road that leads to heaven, the narrow way that leads to the straight gate. Of Please, let me just take this one. <laughs> Uh, no, please. Let's concentrate on this holy book, which will lead us into the will of God, into the plan of God for this family. Since when did you start ignoring God's presence so much? My husband, have you noticed that you've been drifting apart gradually? No. You're a man of God. A man after God's heart. Uh, oh, how you used to work in the morning, the flight at the shore. I took this one. Wait, 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 babe. It's okay. I'll join you later. If I don't book this one now, the price will go up. Let me just book it, please. What on earth is going on? What is this? Okay, it's fine. 
Oh, Daddy, please, please, let's go. Let's go and have our morning devotion. It's okay. We can always have it tomorrow. Have you forgotten? No Bible, no breakfast. No quiet time. No quest for the things of this world. Can we have it tomorrow, please? How are we supposed to solidify our selves in order to resist all the temptations out there? Oh yes. All the evil patterns out there. Look, this one is having just one stop. Thank God. Okay, no, I saw another one, direct one. I'll just take this one. Let me, let me, let me. Can we just have the Bible study tomorrow? The it's only okay. stop we need is the stop into the presence of God for the Holy Spirit to open the eyes of our understanding and reveal the truth to us. Huh? I was about please, let's go and study the word of God. Let's go and pray. This is not good. It's okay, God understands that I need this chip. No! These are the things of the world and they are passing away. The Bible says that very lost times shall come. The love of many will wax cold. Most man is your love for God waxing cold. Because I don't get it. Are you the one preaching to me now? Hey, I'm only saying that. Like, don't you feel the aroma of God's presence and the glory of His light? Fast departing from our home, the glory is gone. It's okay, God understands. We can uh, have morning devotion today, we can have it another day. If we skip one day, one week, it's still fine. What guarantees us that we are going to see tomorrow? We are so bothered about the cares of this world that we forget to follow the most needful His presence, His word. My husband. When driving to work, I, I used to thank God though. I thank God whenever I'm driving. Don't worry about it. It's fine. The Bible says that the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous have been much. Fervent, fervent. We need to be groaning in the spirit. We need to sit in his presence and gather rema. That will help us resist the Okay, okay. I know I know you already. If you want something, you are always there. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Eh? The road to heaven. Oh, let me just secure it. <laughs> Alright. No, no, you see. The, the road to heaven is narrow. We better secure our souls for eternity. <sighs> better secure our souls for eternity. Rapture is a breath away. What a beautiful day. Oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me Oh Lord, you are You are excellent In my life every day My husband My beautiful wife Yes darling, I've missed you, where were you? I've missed you too This is fun Chocolate, just the brand that I love, thank you. Just remember so the day I posted it? Yes. <laughs> you didn't do it not properly, now do it properly. <laughs> you are my king, you don't have to do it for me. I'm your queen now, eh? I love it. You love it? Mm, thank you so much. I love the way you take care of me. <laughs> so what's the location? It smells uh, so good. I need you to get ready. Okay. For our trip to Los Angeles. To so what? To Los Angeles. But I thought we already agreed on this. During the Bible study session yesterday, I thought we said we would see into the things of God more. These are just distractions from the enemy. It's okay, there's no harm having a trip. Go it's ahead. not okay! It's not okay when we are growing cold and focusing more on the things of this world. It's not okay when we are focusing on the trip to Los Angeles instead of the trip to heaven. My husband, it's not okay you when know, we are taking I know I'm traveling alone. I always want to be with you. Okay, so what's um, that you supposed to mean? I already back my things. I just need you to get your things ready or you want me to fix it for you? My I even bought some new things for you there so that you can put up. Let's put on the garment of righteousness. Let's put on the glory of God. Let's visit Calvary again. 
This thing I don't understand what is going on. So you mean you want to use this material thing to blind my eyes from the truth that you once revealed to me through God's word? Is that the plan? Don't you like it?
can you imagine we are just moments away to the exciting trip to LA? Are you excited? Uh, yeah. Come on, come on. You know, I want to take you. You go there. That, there's that walk of fame where you see the names of all the superstars, Michael Jackson. And I'm, I'm hoping that someday maybe yeah. I'll tell us people to put your own name there for that thing. Mm -hmm. And I want to take you to, you know, to, to do the tour of Hollywood. You see Hollywood like that, you see the houses of all these rich, rich people. And um, should be poor. Uh, and Universal Studio. Oh, um, shit, 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 shit. That place is something else. Right? Take you around the tour, you see how they make all these movies, you know, just shit. shit, shit. <laughs> <laughs> we are almost on three, though. Oh, uh, we are almost on three. Please, have you packed everything? I think I have. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure that. Phone. Sorry? Your phone. Yeah, yeah, my phone is right here. You just need to pack all this. Many things and not the lack. And I do need some uh, chewables on the way. That's it. And I am your driver on duty. Or you can call me your pilot on duty. Really? So, ladies and gentlemen, my dear passengers, welcome to. They always say the flight number. So, we're not about it. So, yeah. Welcome to road trip number 3330. I am your captain speaking. Please sir, put on your safety belt and get ready for a fun ride. Yay! No, in fact, this box is not full of all of my things, so I will not put our things there. Who's things? Yeah. We can Oh, I've forgotten some things. I only have uh, I only have uh, like one pound. Yeah, I got, I got everything. I got everything. Then I need to put on my jacket. In Los Angeles, here we come. Where's my girl? Let's not forget. You said you're still here to rush, right? Yes, I have. I have. Please come fast. We are already running late. This is okay. waiting for us. Okay. Like, uh, or like eight minutes behind schedule, you know the traffic in LA is not your friend.
so welcome to drive 008 i'm your pilot and today we'll be driving 300 miles is it really worth it just spending money for nothing we'll drive two hours for the two minutes yeah. then it's routing us to charge at Cattleman city okay so we'll stop there for 40 minutes take a break charge then from there oh. I'm not even sure that we should take this trip. I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just want to be found at his feet With a heart that's full of praise and worship He saved me from the mess of sin When I was lost and completely hopeless He reached back for my soul for in heaven I want to be forever Singing praises to my King In heaven I want to live forever Through all eternity with my King For once I was lost but now I am found Once I was dead But now I choose to live again For eternity In heaven With my King My King With a heart that's full of praise and worship He saved me from my guilt and shame When I was lost in darkness and despair He reached back for my soul For in heaven I want to be forever Singing praises to my King Beautiful place though Oh wow We deserve a beautiful place you know This is a good, not like the other one The other one? Why did we leave? What happened? Tell my husband What happened? I'm just surprised that in one night we are in two different hotels, two different hotel rooms. Why all the frivolous spending? Hmm? I thought we spoke about frugality in managing our finances during courtship. What happened? Don't worry about it. What happened? Were you chased out of the other hotel? Babe, come on, this. We are out for vacation. Let's enjoy ourselves, enjoy the money. Enjoy. My husband, there is a difference between enjoying and wasting resources. <coughs> what do you mean? Look, money is meant to be spent. If you work the money, feed the body, that works the money. I hope you didn't take the cash that I left in my bag. But why, why are you being... If you... Look, you don't need to... Are you okay? You don't need 
don't need to talk that way. Okay. Okay. You can use my money if you want. If only it brings God glory. Look, I'm the one that got married to you, not the other way around. And I've always ensured you have everything you need. Food, money, whatsoever. And now this is vacation. Please don't stress me. Uh, I don't even know. How Are you stop. okay? What happened? Uh, you, 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 you drank? Don't, don't, don't do that. You know what? Uh. This other guy in the in the bar near the junction. Where? Don't worry about it. Uh, you were at the bar. You now drink alcohol? It's just testing. Just testing. Diana uh, was just gallivanting around trying to meet the daughters of the land. See what happened uh, to her. She lost her pride, her virginity. So the shaken might. Uh, Husband, you just got here yesterday for crying out loud and you are already drinking alcohol. Uh, 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 How long is this trip going to last? When? This same mug you used to bring souls to Christ from the pulpit and on the streets through evangelism now drinks alcohol? I'll be back. Just put the things. What happens to being drunk with the Holy Ghost? Can you help me please put, put the things in order? Thank you. Exchanged vows with at the altar. Oh, Holy Spirit, I reject it in the name of Jesus Christ. I reject this in the name of Jesus Christ. My husband is a man of God. My husband belongs to the Lord. My husband is a soul winner for God. My husband is a revivalist in our generation. My husband is a son of God. I refuse this reality. It's not mine. In the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? Oh, goodness. Hard. Yeah, please take my house and put it in the back. Okay. Your house and put it in the back. So you, you know you need to get a shower, okay? It's okay. Let's wash off this this, okay. this 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 aroma of iniquity. And in the sea this night that it will never repeat itself again. The Lord is able to do it, my husband. Please come. Let's go to the bathroom. You need to get a shower, okay? Come, let's go. Come. Am I a baby? You are God's baby. My husband, I love you. And God still loves you. Alright? Devo, you have lost over my husband's life in the name of Jesus Christ. Going on. 
I've been having these frequent visions in which I'm, I'm, I'm getting warnings from God. He's telling me of the way we live, the way we humans live our lives now with all the end times distractions and telling us to put our ways right with God. It really scares me with the way what way people live their lives now having no reference for God. I re it really worries me. It really worries me. Yeah, I know, I know you are oh yeah, you are a child of God. I love God. God uses people but you know. Just uh, we'll try to catch some sleep, okay? Alright? Father, in the name of Jesus, but we thank you for your love and for your grace. That it even though you've been warning us time and again, we keep giving a deaf ear to your warnings. We pray, Lord God, that may you help us to listen to what you will say and to put it into practice. Father, to put our eyes on you and you alone. To keep listening to you, warning us of your coming because we know you love us and you want us to be with you when you come. Help us, Lord, and help our family members and our loved ones. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Try and get some sleep, okay? okay. No, tomorrow is, is a very long day. Yeah, you know, long drive back and all these things. So, uh, try to get up, sleep as, as much as you can, okay? <laughs> what kind of life is this? Hey, I don't get my husband anymore. What is this? How can we stay out there for seven hours in the name of what? How can those women who are just coming around us? They don't even look like you were born again. What kind of a thing is this in the name of vacation? Is it improper for Christians to be busy tripping around in the name of vacation while souls are perishing? Hey, oh God, what am I going to do? My husband used to be a firebrand loving the things of God. Where did he miss it? Was it a friend who introduced him to this kind of life? I don't get it. I don't get it. Where is he? We enter the hotel at the same time. How can I reach the room and he's still out there, God? <sighs> oh, God, please Hello. help me. Yeah, the place I live with you, I love it so much. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, especially the Hollywood scene. You know, if you see the way these guys are acting the movie, you'll be so amazed. It's great, it's great. Yeah. I enjoy it. It's cool. All right, I'll get back to you. Thank you. Are you okay? My husband. Yeah. What took you so long? I thought we were coming together. Suddenly you disappear. We're on vacation, for God's sake. Are you still your brother's keeper? Yes. Kids could not account for Abel. We are here together. I need to know where you are. You need to know where I am. Yeah, but. If we're on vacation, we're on vacation. And that means don't we you should enjoy... be together. Wait, don't you enjoy the places? My husband, you, you talk about Beverly Hills. When did you lose sight of heaven? When has did you talk about heaven? I miss those conversations. Wait, heaven is heaven. Hollywood is Hollywood. Oh God. Look, there was a place I saw where they put Michael Jackson and uh, the other place. It was so beautiful. Oh, God. They are planted in different areas. But I enjoy it. My husband, why last did you talk about Abraham? Why last did you talk about fathers of the faith like Apostle Paul? Why last did you talk about Elijah's man to fall in on Elisha? Now you talk about Michael Jackson? We talk about this in Bible study every oh, day. God. Sunday in the church we talk about it. This is just vacation. It's just one time something. Can't we have Christian-like vacations? 
Vacations where we, we meditate the scriptures more. Vacations where we interact and have intercourse with the Holy Spirit more. Vacations where our hope is in heaven. The Bible says that know that in the last times, very last times shall come. These are the end times, can't you see? Men shall be lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. It's happening. We are loving Michael Jackson instead of loving Jesus. We are loving Beverly Hills instead of loving heaven. Look, my wife. You, you used to be a pastor Abraham, in the church. Abraham, get it. Look, even Abraham, the Lord directed him. Take your things, go this way. There are many people in the Bible, even Moses. The Lord directed him. Take your things. Go this way. It, is that not the journey? What was the purpose of the journey? Abraham went to Mount Moriah to sacrifice his son Isaac in faith. Moses went to the burning bush in order to meet face to face with God in order to get the mandate that he will liberate the children of Israel from the Egyptians. What is the purpose of this journey, my husband? I still ask. Heaven is night. Can't you see it? Eternity is just a breath away. A journey is a journey. Oh God! Even when the Israelites they were still in Egypt, the Lord took them from there and went with them to the promised land. That is still a journey. Was it not a nice vacation? It was just because of something that went wrong that it took them long. My husband, I understand you're trying to make us happy. I get it. And that's because you love me. I totally get it. But what will make me more happy is us staying conscious of the presence of the Most High God. Which place on earth is more beautiful than God's presence? Which name on earth is more beautiful to see than the name of Jesus Christ? Deborah. My husband. I love God. I know you do. I just don't get it lately. But the journey is journey. If Jesus was on earth, Will he be pursuing after these mundane things like we are doing? Can't you see that we are gradually getting spiritually blind? My husband, let's amend our ways before it is too late. Please. Look, please. We have the next one in two months time. You know I love vacations. And this time around, we're gonna fly to Paris. Please. I would rather fly with the heavenly host to the kingdom of God. I would rather fly around the nations, bringing glory to God, winning souls for the most high God. What is in Paris? God is the owner of the earth and the fullness thereof. Okay? These are just the kingdoms of the world and they are passing away. But the word of God and the kingdom of heaven is never passing away. We can't let this generation us lose sight of the needful which is spending eternity with our Lord Jesus Christ. Please my husband, I'm begging you. Don't, don't uh, worry, don't worry. We'll have, okay. we'll have another journey, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. God understand. God know that we are, we just like vacation and going for journey left and right. It's okay. It's okay. Let me get something. I need to eat something. I don't even know. It's okay. You better eat the word of God. <sighs> Lord. <sighs> Have mercy on us. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, you are good and your mercies endure forever. Thank you, Holy One. You are good and your mercies endure forever. Thank you, Lord, for your light that shines so bright and darkness cannot comprehend it. Father, Lord, thank you that you are preserving a remnant in our generation to bring glory to your holy name. Oh, God, thank you for raising up seats of righteousness. I pray that my husband will be one of the seats in the name of Jesus. I pray that my family will be counted worthy in your sight in the name of Jesus. I pray that your light will shine upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, do not forsake us. Oh God, show us your mercy. Oh God, redeem us in the name of Jesus. Oh God, restore us in the name of Jesus. Oh God, restore us in the name of Jesus. Let your light shine, Lord. Let your light shine, Lord. Let your light shine, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray you help us to be conscious of the times, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Father, your word says that while men slept, the enemy came and so tested. The enemy will not 
so tears in my home in the name of Jesus. The enemy will not so tears in my family in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, show your mercy upon my generation, oh God. Father, on our steps in the name of Jesus. Let your light so shine, Jesus. Let your light so shine, Jesus. Let your light so shine, Jesus. That men may see your good works in us, oh God. And glorify you who is in heaven in the name of Jesus. Oh God, keep us alert on our feet for your glory. Father, keep us alert in this end times in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, other our steps. Father, other our steps. Oh, God, help us to be virgins whose oil do not run dry, whose oil do not go out. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I shall not be a foolish virgin. My husband shall not be a foolish virgin. Keep us alert, oh God, that we shall not be distracted by the distractions of this generation, by the distractions of the end time, oh God. Revive us for your glory. Take away every coldness, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Oh God, remember us. Oh God, remember us. Oh God, remember us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Remember Mr. Edward, oh God. And Sister Faith in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Remember Sister Faith and Brother Edward, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Keep us on fire for your glory. Keep us on fire for your glory. In the name of Jesus. Keep us alert in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Keep us alert in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Holy Spirit of the living God. Well, we are here. Yeah, this uh, Universal Studios. Yeah, we've heard a lot about it. <coughs> I think that could be a, a fun one. Well, tickets to like one hundred, what one hundred fifty dollars per person or so. Per person. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hear it's a fun time. It's like this Harry Potter world, world and, and all that. Like, hike, hike Mount Hollywood. Why would somebody be hiking the whole mountain, the Holy Ghost, see the Hollywood sign? So I think that Universal Studio, then uh, Walk of Fame. Yeah. We can start with those. Uh, oh, oh, there's also a tour of uh, tour of Hollywood, and like it's gonna pass through Beverly Hills. Uh, yeah, that one is like for what thirty-five dollars or so. Yeah. Per person still. Yeah, yeah, per person. So I think yeah, I think we can take that. Um, that that should be good. I'm just seeing this on uh, TripAdvisor, you know, and they have very good reviews on on those things. So. Yeah, probably tomorrow we can do those. Then um, someday just have breakfast, me pass by the beach. Then you know, then start start driving back. Well, what do you think? I sincerely think these trips are too many. What vacation? Yes, of course. This is like <coughs> what the the fifth fourth fifth trip in just a month. That is too much. That is too much. I know you're trying to to, to create a, a, a venue where we can a more time for us to share together so we can bond together. But I don't think it is all about the many times that matters. It is there are too many. There are too many. We hardly have time to, to, to attend midweek services we hardly have time to attend even the, the 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 prayer meetings during the weekends because we are always on vacation we are missing i, I feel so drained spiritually uh, uh, yeah i i feel like there's something about vacation that you're really missing it's really not all about the fun and all those things mm -hmm. it's also another way of taking care of your mental well-being you know very well for the past three years I've been working tirelessly on COVID. I have almost like 450 hours of PTO accumulated. That stress for three years combined together is not easy. So even me, I need a lot of avenues that can just make me unwind and decongest because that stress has accumulated a lot. It's not as if somebody's forgotten about God, no. Even while we are still here, we can still pray, right? Uh, for me, midweek prayer, yeah, it's good, but it's not mandatory that I have to go and attend the midweek prayer. I so wish, I wish I could attend it, and I would like to attend it with my husband, my family. I mean, 
we must not take um, vacations out of town. We can still go to, to, to places in town. We must not go out of town. And you cannot be talking of you need, you need time. You cannot say you need time of God. How can you oh, need no, time no. of God? I do not say no, I need God a... is your creator. You can't say once you I need not... vacation. And I do, I do, not, I do not say I need time you. of God. You know, time is really relative. There are people that will probably want to spend 10 hours in the church. And there are some that want to spend one hour in the church. For me, it's not how much time you spend in the church that matters. But it's for you to do what God wants you to do. Somebody can still spend 20 hours in the church and that person still goes around and is still doing things that God does not want us to do. So I understand you, you know, you want to spend time in church and all those things, that is understood. And, you know, when you talk about vacation, you may enjoy just staying in the same town, but that's not really my thing. I've been in that same town for like how many years? So, I don't really see where I can go there, right? So that's why, you, you know, <clears throat> just this drive, this five hours drive, just driving a lot, that was a lot of therapy for me. Because even culminating to this journey, the week has been extremely very, very crazy. It's like putting on flames all the time. And you know how my schedule is. So just having that quiet time where I'm not on my phone, I'm not on call, just holding that steering, driving and singing, then uh, passing at that range, yeah, you know that uh, barbecue meal. Uh, the way that the way that it tastes, uh, it doesn't like... taste for me. There is no taste in food. When Bible says man must not live by by bread alone, but by every word that comes. He are really quoting that to me. Huh? Then why did you eat the meat then? I didn't. You, you, you didn't like it. I didn't like it. Ah, uh, okay. Next, when we are doing the the retou, when I when I buy it, now I wait. I wait to buy it. Lift up, Jesus. He is King of Kings. Oh, Holy Spirit, what's going on with my husband? Am I am I just the one being so insensitive towards him? The last time. I I saw him this morning. It was when I heard him come into the shop. But he's not even here. Where has he stepped out to? What's all this happening in my family? I just hope I'm not getting in my husband's way. But I also just hope that my husband is not getting into the way of the Lord in his life. He was the one who actually brought me to Christ, huh? He was the one who has actually been counseling me and helping me to walk in righteousness and holiness all these years that we've been married. My husband has been such a firebrand for the Lord, full of the Holy Ghost and power, passionate about souls. So why did he lose it? What must have happened to him? Oh Lord, wherever my husband is, please visit him. Restore to him the joy of your salvation in him. In the name of Jesus Christ, please Lord, help my husband. Hello? Yes. Uh -huh. I really, really need some breakfast for my husband. We're about to step out. Today right, ma'am. It's a good day. I'll be waiting. I'm Thank going you. out. I'm going out. Today is a good day. I'm going now. My darling husband, my man of God, my firebrand. Ah, the crown over my head. Oh goodness. Wait. My bag. Just... What, honey? Let's go. Oh, the breakfast. I remember telling the receptionist that we need breakfast. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you going to dress like that? You said we are going out for a tour today? We are not going to church. We are not going out for evangelism. 
neither are we going out uh, to do some gospel something something. But what are you talking about? We are here for vacation for God's sake. Huh? Look at the way you dress up. Wait, as a child of God, is my tone of dressing in holiness and righteousness supposed to change because of my environment? Deborah. My husband. Please. This is a vacation. And you need to be in vacation mode. Oh, okay. I hope I put my headgear well. My husband! I'm not supposed to be wearing skimpy dresses and exposing my body to the temple of the Lord. Just because I'm out of vacation doesn't mean that I should just expose the temple of God to these frivolous people of the world. I'm not a worldly woman. I'm a woman of God. I don't even know even the way you even put it, mixing green and whatsoever. My husband, look at my heart, okay? I'm a child of God. Even on this door, we can win souls for God. Should I show you some of the tracks I carried along and even the Bible? Of course, we can win souls for God even while we are on this vacation. And who knows the man of God that you are going to win out there and he'll bring thousands of souls into the kingdom of God. Look at all these great generals and ministry owners in our generation. Someone brought them to Christ. We must not be asleep. Can't you see my husband? Look, wait, 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 wait. Even when people go on vacation, <laughs> They are out of their job soon. You don't go back and reply emails while you are on job, when you're, you're working. No, we don't do it that way. Okay, what are you implying? It means if you are on vacation, even if you are a child of God, you used to go out for evangelism, vacation is vacation. How? Everything needs to be on your own. You can't say that, my husband, you cannot. We can never take vacation away from our spiritual duties. It's our responsibility to preach Christ everywhere we are. They should see him and his reflection in and through us. Even the way we dress can bring souls to Christ. The way we talk while on vacation can bring souls to Christ. The acts of kindness and goodness that we do can reflect Jesus and bring souls to him. Even God understands that we are on vacation. No. You know, wait, 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 my wife. God walk for how many days? God. Where did then, husband which day did he have a rest? On the seventh day. Good! If God had a rest on the seventh day, it means that we also need rest. My husband. Look, oh, wait, 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 before you go. We have been doing evangelism in the past. Remember, is it seven years ago? We used to do these things. Well, now those times are gone. We must now not retire. No, we must not retire. The signs of the times are here. Jesus said in John chapter 9 verse 4 that I must work the works of my Father. Why it is yet day for the night cometh when no man can work. God rested on the seventh day. The seventh day is the last day. Is today your last day in this world? So you must keep evangelizing the world till Jesus comes. You must keep reflecting the light and the glory of the Most High God till Jesus comes. We cannot take vacation in such a dark generation. We cannot. We cannot. We cannot. Let this vacation be an opportunity to bring more souls to Christ. There are souls we'll meet at this vacation that we may never meet them in church or on the streets. My husband, this is an opportunity. We may not meet them at our job sites. And God has brought us here to be a light to them, to show them the way. Like Philip showing the Ethiopian you know, the way to heaven. Wait, are you trying to evangelize to me? No, my husband, you... <coughs> no. I know you know better, but the Holy Spirit knows look, more. Look, 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 understand these things. Much more better. We used to do this thing very well. Now, this is the time for us to enjoy. We have already done some things. In fact, we did some. We evangelized in which... We, I don't even know what to say. Sweetheart! Anyway, don't spoil the boy. Don't spoil the boy. Don't spoil the boy, please. I am going out to have fun let's intercede before going out we need the blood of jesus to cover us as we go out for no sure that's what we have no problem no we sons of billia no daughters yes, of jesus we will see us in the name of jesus Christ. as we go out lord they shall not drag us over to the camp of darkness we shall pull them to the camp of the light in the name of jesus Amen. the bible says 
that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Therefore, we anoint ourselves with the power of the blood of Jesus. As we step out, as souls look at us, they will begin to surrender their lives to Christ in the name of Jesus. As backsliders look at us, as oh God, the compromisers look at us, they will begin to surrender their lives to Christ in the name of Jesus. Those who are broken, those who are in need of help, those who are feeling lonely, depressed, Amen. are broken, Lord. Lord Alright, one, me. thank you. The Lord is going to see us through. Eh? Alright. Can you keep, can you keep, can you keep, can you keep them please? I'm with my husband. Let's wait for room service, eh? For breakfast, and then we go out. See, 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 police car out there. We don't know which criminal they are looking after. We need to take the gospel to those criminals. We were once like them, remember? But Jesus saved us. Better change. I mean the dressing. <sighs> My husband, I honor and obey you, but this dressing, eh? I can't afford to, to go skimpy. Mm -mm. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. My husband, please don't do this. I beg you. It's not the will of God. Don't do this. Please. Which place are we visiting today? <sighs> Let's visit Calvary. Right here. Wait, is that the name of the bar? No, 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 there is this club. No, 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 not about club, you know, and it's not like we're going to club, for God's sake. That's not what I mean. But what I'm just trying to say is, like, beautiful places around here that we can really relax. No! No, no don't worry about Calvary it. Calvary is the presence it. of the Lord for our heart to be transformed. Don't worry about it. Oh, God. Oh, oh Father. Do what only you can do in the life of my beloved husband, your servant. Oh God, show him the way for you are the way, the truth and the life. I cannot do this on my own Holy Spirit. Amen. And if there is any fault in me, Lord, I repent in the name of Jesus. Ooh. Ooh. is said and done I just want to be found at his feet with a heart that's full of praise and worship he saved me from the mess of sin when I was lost and completely hopeless he reached back for my soul For in heaven I want to be forever Singing praises to my King In heaven I want to live forever Through all eternity with my King for once I was lost, but now I am found Once I was dead, but now I choose to live again For eternity in heaven with my King My King With a heart that's full of praise and worship He saved me from my guilt and shame When I was lost in darkness and despair He reached back for my soul For in heaven I want to be forever Singing praises to my King In heaven I want to live forever Through all eternity with my 
breaking For once I was lost But now I am found Once I was dead But now I choose to live again For all eternity In heaven With my King My King have melted. Keep a lookout! All right! Sage! Come help me! Yeah, here. Park it right there. It is good to see you alive. Where have you been? Poor lost souls on this floating piece of sheet metal. <laughs> the provider has spoken. And he tells me personally that somebody here knows the way to dry land. 
Yes, my flock, dry land. We're going to pave it and drive it, tax it and tithe it. Sweet Joe Bob, we're going to use it, cruise it, fill it, drill it, and build an 18 hole monument to my beloved self. You'll never find dry land, Deacon, I won't let you. Boyfriend, the guy that poked out my eye? Yeah! Is that what you're talking about? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Bring me the girl! Hey! Did I see anybody get... You're dead! Get that girl for me! Run while you go, Ricky! Yeah, the mayor is right over here. I can see him and I've got one eye. Right there! Running! Take this guy's head and rip it off of his body. We've got guns, he's got water, he's kicking our butts. No. Get out!
Hampton. And join that spectacular 45 foot fire dive, our national diving champion, Kyle Polar. Here come our heroes from Borderland, Jolene Fisher. And from Hot Water, Brian Combs. From 911, my name is Greg Dahl. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the rest of your day at Universal Studios Hollywood. Ladies and gentlemen, we're pleased you enjoyed Water. Probably some fatigue or you know something. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Yeah, you'll be fine. I'll just. Uh... All right, we're in the room now. We're in the room. We're almost there. Just need to get some rest. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're in the room. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Take it easy. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Have a seat. Yeah, I mean, I, I just wanted to call you, uh, oh, bro, okay, just just try this, uh, one moment, uh, Debra, just uh, give me okay. some time here. Yeah. Everything okay? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we came back uh, a while ago, I think, uh, from all the walking and everything, I think he he, had to, he became a little dehydrated, yeah, and, and, and kind of weak, yeah, so I just, um, I just brought him to the to the room, so he's he's, he's in my room here. Yeah, so he's he's he's, he's on the chair now, and yeah, just uh, just 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 having some rest. Mm -hmm. Oh, alright, I'll be there. You sure? Ah, uh, it's okay. Calm, calm down, calm down. He's he he will be fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's still okay. Let, let, let him just, let him just wrap. He's, he's a man, he's a man, he's a man. He's a man. Yeah, he, he's in house first, so. Yeah. It's okay, Deborah, it's okay. Uh, you, you are this, you are sweet, you people are like, you know, like this. 20, 21 person, it's as if, uh, it's okay. He, he's, he's going to be fine, yeah. I just think it's just uh, some uh, dehydration. Yeah, so, so so I think you should just let him let him just have some air, right? Yeah, just just relax. Right? You, you wanna sit sit on the bed? Right. Yeah, yeah, just uh, sit, sit on the bed. He's, he's gonna be okay. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, do you want some water? I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just want my husband to be fine. Yeah, 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 just uh, you know, give give him some. You know, things like this happen. You can, you can imagine women out like the whole day, you know, mm -hmm. going from here to there, and you know, and a lot of those things. So yeah, so at times, so you know, you know, I, I always say that the, the body, the body also needs rest. <laughs> Even me too. You, you can you can see with my eyes now. I'm I'm a little dizzy too. You know, from all the driving and walking and all those things. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that I, you know, that I want to make sure I have comfortable shoes, you know, 
you know, just make sure that, you know, I'm, I'm well ventilated, you know, and all those things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but he's, he's going to be fine. Hey, bro. He's, he's going to be okay. <laughs> God, God, please, please do not let this calamity before us. We have seen a function of your glory. God, please show us mercy, please. <sighs> Three hours later, and he's, he's so unconscious. I thought the nurse said, I hope the medications work. Lord, I trust you. You are the God who makes dry bones to rise again. Oh, please, Lord. Please. Here is another one. There is nothing too hard for you to do. Who oh, oh, is that? Hello? Sister Faith. Yes, my darling sister. He's still unconscious. He's still unconscious. I'm so tired. Thank you so much. How is your husband? Okay. Amen. All is well. All is well. It shall be well with us. It shall be well with him in Jesus' name. Alright. Okay. See you shortly. Oh, my darling husband. Receive your healing from the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you have an encounter with the Lord. An encounter like never before. In Jesus' name. You're doing much better now, my husband. God is so merciful. Uh -uh. We thank God. Mm. <coughs> you know, I used to walk in a very beautiful way. I had the best relationship with God. Mm. But I, I don't know what happened. And the journey to prepare the focus of Jesus Christ coming hmm. is for us to prepare for eternal life. Absolutely. But my desires have always been for me to travel. Before giving my life to Jesus Christ, yes, I I love going on vacation, which is beautiful. But when Christ changed my life many things about me change along the way <coughs> I don't know maybe it's because the Lord blessed me financially and I went astray and put the things of the Lord away not like I was not going to church I still go to church I still do everything but I realized that I was so moved with traveling vacation planning all the times a vacation good they are good but my focus all this why I've always been on disturbing my precious wife Deborah it's okay, my and just making her to go for vacations mm. 
the Lord showed me a very deep vision mm. about what we should lay our focus <coughs> on. Mm. That it should be about preparing for the coming of Christ mm. and not preparing for vacations. Because every time I will prepare my vacation, I will change my itinerary, where am I going to go next, what am I going to do next, but I don't remember when last I checked, where am I going to go next, maybe for a conference, a church conference, or maybe go for a concert, a Christian concert, or maybe preparing the kingdom of God, what am I going to do? No, but instead, I've been focusing that about vacation, 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 vacation. I pray the Lord have mercy on us Amen. and that we should learn this lesson that it is not all about preparing for vacations, but it's also about preparing for eternal life. Absolutely, yeah. So this is what happened to us. So ever since my husband woke up, He's been telling me so many testimonies of his encounter with Christ and I'm just so grateful to God that the Holy Spirit has convicted him personally. I tried with my own human wisdom and I was struggling between honoring my husband as the head of the home and still making sure that he is following the path of righteousness and holiness which he had been working on. I'm so grateful to God that the Holy Spirit has done this for mm. him. Yeah. Yes. And, you know, People can encounter the Holy Spirit anywhere. Mm. Yes. At uh, any time. True. It can be in the elevator, it can you know be in the room, it can be in yes. the bathroom. And it's just so beautiful how God can use anybody. True. Right. It doesn't matter the color of your skin, who yes. you are, how much money you have. God can still use people to be able to send a message to you yeah. <coughs> and I think where we are weak as humans is for us to be able to understand that there is a message that is coming from God mm. because you might have seen this person you think hey this is a drunk but then God is using that particular person to give a message to you, uh, but then since you already have that pre-planted in your mind, it's yes. just so mm -hmm. difficult to discern it. I think it's just for us to continue praying that mm -hmm. you know God can give us that grace to be able to hear His voice. Yes, because there's God's voice and there's our voice. True. Right. Mm. Where. God is saying this, but our own voice, we are saying that because mm. that is why we've already pre-planted in our mind that, hey, this is what I want. But God is saying that this is what he wants. But because what you want, you've taken it to, your, to an upper level. Mm. Now it's difficult for you to see what God wants, right? Sure. So, and as humans, I think we, we just need to continue praying you know that god can give us that uh, wisdom you know to be able to see and uh, it's not all it's only vacations you know i know i know this was a vacation but <clears throat> there's a lot of other uh, early things you yes. know that um, at times we've kind of put more focus on it yes. and that has taken away taking us you know from from the focus of God as well, mm. uh, you know, it can be money. Yes. Still, that that money is coming from God, right? Yes. It's God that has blessed us with it, and it's not a bad thing to have these things, right? Don't don't mm. get me wrong, but the thing is, once we start worshiping them and mm. you know, putting them as if that is all about life. Hey, I have this money. I've arrived. Any other thing. God is secondary, human beings are secondary and all those things and one of those lessons that I really learned from my dad is, you know, life is you knowing God yes. and the people you can impact. True. 
true. That are two very critical things. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I pray mm. that the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And it's so beautiful to have a godly friend like Sister Faith mm. that we can encourage one another. And sometimes when we feel like our husbands are not standing well in Christ, mm. if they are the heads of the home mm. and the enemy attacks, so what will we as the wives in the home do? Sister Faith, thank you so much, my yes, sister. God will sister. Mm. God will glory. Mm. My friend and brother, yeah, yeah. I know that we have always have this lifestyle of going on vacation all mm. the time. Mm. And you know, Yama, one on one, that whenever we plan <laughs> something, we just want to eat it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Why don't we turn it the other way and plan before eternal life and eat it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. And that we should also encourage our wives mm -hmm. that we need to focus on God. Mm. Amen. It could be the other way around. Maybe some wives are the one pushing their husbands to go on vacation. Mm -hmm. Vacations are good, but let that focus be for us to have eternal life. Amen. 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 All right, please let's pray and give oh. God thanks. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you. Thank we you give you all Jesus. the glory and honor. Amen. Lord, give us the grace to focus, Lord, for eternal life. Amen. And not only about the pleasure of this world. Amen. Receive all the glory and honor, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh praise the Lord. Oh my God. It's such a beautiful thing to be in the presence oh, of God. Yeah. <laughs> the service today was awesome. I know. Oh, the it was pastor, powerful. Amazing job. No, the Holy Spirit used the pastor to do an amazing job. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm talking about that, my wife. You know, there is this say that a family mm. that Pray together. Sure. Stay together. Yes. And the way I used to live, mm -hmm. granted I was solid with the Lord, but it came a point where I went astray. Mm -hmm. And doing that, it will be difficult for us to stand together. Absolutely. But these few days, mm -hmm. standing with my wife and not just thinking about traveling left, going right, <laughs> doing this and that, mm. and forgetting the Lord that blessed us with all of these okay. things, you know. And also, you know, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, he say you should train up a child yes. the way he should go, so that when he get old, he will not depart from it. No, you know, I as the man of the house, the father of the house, mm. if I am going astray, then how would I even be there to train up the children so that they will not depart from it? But we thank God for everything. You know, God. I bless God for giving me an amazing wife. Oh, that yes. even when I'm falling, she is there with me oh, so that we can stand up pray. together. Thank you, the Lord is pray. good. The Bible says that iron sharpened iron. I'm just mm. so grateful to God. And that's why it's beautiful that in our homes, in our families, we keep raising up Jesus. We keep interceding and standing in the gap for one another. I pray the Lord continue to give grace to every home out Amen. there, every family out there in the Amen. name of Jesus. In this perilous time, we will not grow cold. Amen. We will not lose it. Amen. 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 <laughs> so let me prepare you something delicious. Okay. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, hmm. and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, hmm. which come to you in sheep's clothing. But inwardly, they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? 
Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is yen down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. So deep. Wow. And my husband, you know, this reminds me of what the Bible says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 20 that, For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no wise enter into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. And it's in the same alignment with yes. Matthew chapter 7. From verse 13 mm. through 20. True. Amen. Yeah. So indeed narrow is the gate. Yes. That goes to the way of the Lord. Mm -hmm. That is the reason. You see, many of us we are destroyed. Yes. And you see, it's difficult for people to understand this mystery. Mm. So many are distracted, they are carried away by the cares of the world. Mm -hmm. Many are flogging the fancy places and gatherings today in the name of seeking for God. Meanwhile, the way of holiness and righteousness is being deserted. We are going after the flesh, after the fashions of the world, after the pleasures of this present times. You know, we have a common say that majority wins the vote. But in this case, if we want to follow majority, they will not make it. <laughs> so we have to Mercy, be focused. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. It is well. The Bible says that faithful is he who has called us, who also will keep us till the end. God has not given us a spirit of fear or of bondage, but a spirit of love or sound mind of power whereby we can be able to cry our Father. So we have not been called to live in fear, but Rather to just seek the face of God in truth and in spirit. The word of God is the answer we need in this generation. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. I thank you, Father, for reviving my life. I thank you, Lord, for restoration. I thank you, Lord, for not accepting me, Lord, to be taken by the wind of the enemy. I thank you, I bless you. Lord, I glorify you. Thank you, Lord, for my family. Thank you, Lord, for my wife. Lord, you are a good God. Father, you are a mighty God. There is no like you. You are the most high king. The one that reigneth forever. Lord, I appreciate you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, my ways were not the ways that you had wanted. That I was going astray. But Jehovah God, that you called me. Because you have chosen me, Lord. You do not permit the enemy, Lord, to take me away. Father, I glorify you. Thank you, Lord, for my wife. Thank you, Lord, for my children. Lord, you are the most high God. That I appreciate you. Lord, we give you all the glory. Lord, I bless you. That you are great. That you are mighty. Bring us back to you! Bring us back to you! Tell me if I... 
king In heaven I wanna live forever Through all eternity with my king For once I was lost But now I am found Once I was dead But now I choose to live again For all eternity In heaven With my King My King Oh Oh With my King Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you were really blessed. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the post notification bell. Also, do not forget to follow us on all social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. We encourage you to share this video and bless others. And oh yes, we encourage you to check out our other edifying videos on this platform to keep enjoying the moment. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for watching, watching and God, God bless you. Bless you. <laughs>